hey, so I've just looked at a BBC report on the outcome of the trial of Kong Ling Lin for assault. And um, not surprisingly, but very frustratingly, the case has been dropped. Now, I've actually been in touch with um, people closely involved in that case. And um, I definitely, definitely trust them a lot more than communist propaganda. Um, it's uncomfortable saying these things in China, right? I'm in China right now. Um, but for the sake of affection for my country, I can't ignore it. Because what this amounts to is the British authorities, the British, um, the British side is being bullied, basically. Um, officially, the reason that it was dropped was lack of evidence. But I think the real reason is very likely to be the fact that the Chinese embassy, coupled with CGTN, her news network, um, which is a branch of the Chinese government, make no mistake about it. There is no such thing as an independent news agency in China. Um, all news agencies in China are directly controlled by the government. So it's a branch of the Chinese Communist Party. Because they made demands for apologies, um, and because they threatened some of the people involved, then the case has been dropped, and I'm furious. I'm not surprised, but I'm furious. Um, you know, one of the things with Brexit is this idea of getting our sovereignty. And I've seen statements from certain Brussels bureaucrats recently that I'm not very happy with, as someone who voted Remain. Um, Guy Verhofstadt has said things that are very um, concerning regarding sovereignty. But we should not take our eye off the ball with um, other powerful players in the world. I'd sort of avoided this case because I didn't want to be in a bad mood. I didn't want to, um, you know, I knew this would be the outcome or I strongly suspected it because it's just a long track record of us being pushed around. Um, all I can say is Kong Ling Ling is damn lucky. She's damn lucky that uh, we've allowed herself to be pushed around. I'm angry with the British side as well, actually, for allowing it to happen. Lack of evidence. I, I don't believe that's the reason. I believe the real reason is that the Chinese um, regime has put pressure on our justice system. I mean, let's consider this for a second. If a British reporter came to China and got up and heckled the speaker, say, at a Communist Party event, and then they went on to assault somebody, there's absolutely no way in hell that British reporter would get such a light slap on the wrist. Um, in fact, to be cleared, it just wouldn't happen. They would face a kangaroo court. They would be probably accused of being a foreign spy, and they'd probably do jail time. That's the difference. And for CGN, CGT and to have the arrogance to talk about free speech, it, it just, it frankly infuriates me. And anyone who follows these uh, Sino-British relations closely, um, you know, you can't help but feel angry at something like this because it's so blatantly obvious that we're being pushed around. Why? Why do we allow this? In my opinion, what should have happened, she should have been charged with assault. Uh, CGTN and the Chinese embassy should have been told to respect their host country. And she should have been stripped of her press pass. Not jail, that would have been excessive. But uh, give her a fine, force her to apologise, and um, strip her of her press pass. Then deport her. I think that would have been appropriate. Um, I think it's disgusting that she gets to stay in London. Um, the report doesn't specify that, but I'd be very surprised if, well, it won't happen. She's not going to get to leave. Uh, I mean, she's she's going to stay in Britain, continue to insult Britain. Um, I am sick and tired of the Chinese Communist Party thinking it can do whatever it wants anywhere in the world. You know, they talk about soft power and they like to boast about never having invaded anywhere. But this soft power is being very, very manipulative because it's what they're doing. I just looked at the website to tell them exactly what I thought of them. I mean, their Facebook, <laughs> ironic, isn't it? Their Facebook website. And um, 
what's interesting is that they have a lot of reports on Dolce and Gabbana. Apparently, there's been some sort of racism controversy. Um, I don't know what that's about, but they've got report after report of that case. What they're trying to do is stoke up anti-Western sentiment. CGTN is a neo-nationalistic mouthpiece of the Communist Party. That's what it is. And if you look at the English language page, it looks friendly enough. It looks like normal language. You know, it's not an immediate giveaway. But when you dig a little bit beneath the surface, that's what they're doing. And um, it really doesn't surprise me. This is the behaviour of the Communist Party. It's the way they've always acted, the bullies. But what angers me is that the British side is just letting this happen. We can do more. We can say no. We can say we're not going to grovel to them. I mean, please, she went to trial. I hope she faced days of anxiety because this sort of bullying behaviour shouldn't be tolerated. But she got cleared, and ostensibly from lack of evidence. But, you know, you have to join the dots. And the fact of the matter is, immediately following the case, CGTN and the Chinese embassy didn't, like, look for the facts. They just immediately demanded apologies. That's the way they work. And I'm sick and tired of their demands for apologies. We should be demanding an apology. And I'll leave it there because I'm just going to get myself worked up.